Let's take a look at the SSL inspection policy for Zscaler Internet Access. So if we come to policy and SSL inspection, you see we have a number of policy configurations. Uh, we have two that are disabled around um, cloud applications um, that would be bypassed. Um, and we have the Zscaler recommended bypasses which are auto configured by Zscaler. And then I have my default company policy, which says, let's do SSL inspection. We're going to allow untrusted service certificates. We're going to check for OCSP certificate revocation. We're going to block undecryptable traffic. And we're going to ensure that both the client and the server have a minimum of TLS 1.0 for their encrypted communication, meaning that we will specifically block client requests for SSL2 or SSL3 or servers that only support SSL2 and SSL3 which are inherently insecure. These configurations here for Office 365 and UCAS are derived from cloud app control policy. So if we come across to our advanced policy settings we can enable the O365 one click configuration we can enable unified communications as a service configuration for Zoom, Log Me In, and Ring Central, and click Save. And we then click activate. And we can come back across to the SSL inspection policy. And you can see that we have now configured to automatically bypass 0365 using the one click configuration and unified communications as a service, ensuring that these applications flow through Zscaler Internet Access without being intercepted and therefore perform as expected. We take a look at our advanced SSL inspection settings. We're going to configure to use to not use a custom certificate. If we come across to the advanced SSL inspection settings, you can see that we're not using a custom certificate, so we are using Zscaler's default certificate. And so if we come across to 
our Safari browser and open HTTPS Expedia.com. We click on the padlock, we can see that we have a spoofed certificate for Expedia.com generated by an intermediate CA and you see the T means temporary this has a short time to live this is distributed down to the nodes and this is generated by the intermediate CA which has a longer time to live which is in turn signed by the Zscaler root CA and so it's important that this root CA is distributed to the endpoints so they inherently trust the chain to the web server certificate if we come across to our keychain, we can see that we have the Zscaler root CA installed in the system keychain here, as well as my enterprise certification authority because this is a domain joined machine. There are a number of options to get the root certificate authority down to the browser or to the machine. If we come across to policy and we come to the client connector portal, we can take a look at the app profile. In my case, I'm on a Mac OS device and I can edit this profile and I can see that it says install the Zscaler SSL certificate. So Zscaler Client Connector is pushing the Zscaler certificate to the endpoint to ensure that the endpoint trusts the chain to the spoof certificate. We can also come to administration Client Connector Support, an Advanced config Configuration, an Advanced Configuration, and upload my root certificate here from my enterprise. Click Upload, and the certificate has been uploaded. So this will also be distributed to endpoints by Zscaler Client Connector. Alternative mechanisms to deploy the Zscaler certificate, as well as your enterprise certificate, would be to use your MDM, such as SCCM, Intune, or AirWatch. Or, of course, the user could manually install the certificate if you sent it out via email or some other mechanism. Let's click Go Back. and we return to the Zscaler administration interface. Let's go to Policy, SSL Inspection, Advanced SSL Inspection Settings, and we're going to generate the certificate signing request for our custom certificate. So let's generate a new CSR, and we'll, enter the and we'll enter the details in the signing request. So I am Welsh Geek. So let's click Generate New CSR and we'll complete the data for the certificate signing request for our custom intermediate certificate authority. So I am Welsh Geek Networks, Welsh Geek Network Security, organization is Welsh Geek Networks Limited. Department is IT Security, town is Cardiff in Wales, and the country is United Kingdom. We click Save. And that will generate the certificate signing request. So we can download the CSR, and if we come across to our downloads folder, we can do open SSL rec minus in Welsh Geek CSR minus text, and we can see the certificate signing request has all of that information that I just entered. We check that it's all correct. What we'll do is we'll copy the signing request to my clipboard. If I come back to Google Chrome 
and to my Active Directory server, I can then request a certificate, an advanced certificate request. We paste the signing request in there and we select Subordinate Certification Authority and click Submit. You can then download the Base64 format for the certificate. And again, I come back to my Downloads folder and I, can, and I need to move that file, which is called certnew.cer, and I'm going to call it Welsh Intermediate PEM, and it has to have a PEM extension. Come back across to Chrome to my portal, and I will now up, make sure I click the right button, and I will now upload new certificate, choose file, I will select that intermediate certificate and click upload. And then I will select use custom certificate and I will click save. I can now activate my changes. I can now I can now activate my changes and all of my new and my custom certificate has been uploaded and activated. So I can close this. If I come across to my Safari browser now and let's go to HTTPS, let's go to www.booking.com. You can see that transparently the, the page loads correctly. We click on the padlock, we can show certificate and we can see that it's been intercepted all the way to my root CA the, the certificate that I just generated has all of the details in that. We have the temporary certificate with a short time to live, which is distributed to the nodes, and then the spoofed certificate for the booking.com website. And click OK to this, and therefore we can s demonstrate that Zscaler Internet Access does SSL inspection, SSL enforcement using both the Zscaler Root Certificate Authority as well as custom certificates for SSL inspection.